The purpose of this show, the of this show is to guide you to realign, you to realign with habits that get you to live the life, live the life you've always dreamed of. Right. This, this is the Habit-Based Lifestyle Podcast with Jesse Yule. This is the Habit-Based Lifestyle, where you can access your full potential right now. Finally break free from destructive habits. That dream life, if you want it, you can have it. This is where you transform your health, mind, business, and relationships. Or do nothing and keep your life the way it is. But if you're ready for change, you're in the right place. This is where you're gonna learn how to live a habit-based lifestyle. You, you, you are tuning in to the Habit-Based Lifestyle Podcast with, with, with your host, Jesse Yule. This is this is the habit-based lifestyle. Let's go. Have you ever been stuck? Like this feeling of not moving forward, being paralyzed. I literally just got off a coaching call with five women that I coach. And one of the things that came up was this idea of living in the past and how we stay living there, how we stay connected to that place and how much we actually fight to stay living in the past. We fight this with our words. We fight this with our stories. We fight this with our emotions every single day. And as I was talking to the, with these five ladies that I coach, sometimes what comes up for me is when I hear them speak about their past, when I hear them talk from their past, I begin repeating back what they said. I begin to repeat back anytime they say something about their past and they use language of their past. I begin to repeat it back. And the reason I do this is to get them aware of what's actually going on, what they're actually saying. You see, so many times in our life, we mindlessly use vocabulary, we use words from our past. Very rarely do people ever point this out to us. And so we unconsciously use these words, and yet we have no idea what we're even saying. We, con- we unconsciously choose words that actually keep us living in the past. You see, there's a lot of facts that come around by living in this past. There's a lot of facts that come around from being stuck. What do we know about being stuck? You see, you and I on a day-to-day basis are unconscious to so many things that not only we do, but we say and we act with other people. Think about on a day-to-day basis, how often you get into a conversation with someone, how often you go into meetings and we think about possibly what someone may have done to us before. Could be a coworker, something that a coworker had done with us before, something our spouse had done to us before, something our mom and dad, our family, our kids had done to us before. And we bring this up, stepping into a new conversation. And we stay stuck, stuck living in this past story. You see, as I was walking one of the ladies through an exercise, they were talking about how they felt this tightness, this like suffocating feeling in their chest. And as I began to coach them, I I told her just to put her hand on her chest and to begin working on breathing through it. It was like she was suffocating. It was like she couldn't breathe and get a deep breath in. But I said, listen, put your hand where you feel the resistance. Put your hand where you actually feel the pain. Put your hand where you can't breathe. And I began to bring her back to this simple place. I began to bring her back to a conscious place. I began to bring her back to the present. But as I began to do that, I began to ask her some questions. What does it feel like to be in this place where her hand was? And she began to tell me it feels heavy. I feel worried. I feel this tightness. I feel scared, paralyzed. I feel tired. Do you ever feel tired all the time? Do you ever feel like you're not moving forward or backwards? You're just staying stuck. You see, this is the reality of what a lot of us feel on a day-to-day basis. And I'm not immune to this either. 
there's days and times in my life where I feel these exact same things. But I've began to equip myself with the tools to begin working my way out. Because being stuck is nothing more than a feeling. Being stuck is nothing more than a story. Being stuck is nothing more than being unconscious. And how many times in your life have you fought for your excuses? How many times have you fought for your reasons why you are the way you are? How many times in your life have you hung on to these? I am the way I am because of my parents. I am the way I am because of what happened to me when I was younger. I am the way I am because of this thing or this event. What you're really saying is, listen, I'm stuck. I'm stuck in this past. I'm stuck in this story. I'm stuck in this feeling. I'm stuck in this emotion. And I can't figure out how to go forward. I can't figure out how to move on. So we come up with more stories. We come up with more feelings. And we get to a place in our lives where the story that we originally began telling and the story that's happened today, and there's 20 years in between, 50% of that story is no longer even true. 50% of that story, 50% of your stories from the past are not even true. They're not even real. Think about that. 50% of the stories you tell are not true. So would that mean that I could eventually move on and not be stuck? What would happen if I began to challenge my own stories, my own thoughts, my own feelings, and my own emotions, and I began to create new ones, new ones that actually got me what I want, but there's a step that we got to go to in between this. You see, if there's something different we want, we have to begin to ask ourselves some different question. Is being stuck in my story working or not working? Is being stuck in this behavior working or not worrying? Is being stuck in this excuse working on me moving forward in my life or not working? And as I began to coach one of my clients through this experience, she began to say, man, I can feel the weight lifting off. I can actually feel like relief. It doesn't feel as heavy anymore. I'm not actually feeling where this is coming from. I began to feel lighter, like I could let go. Wouldn't it be powerful if we could do that every single day? Thought comes up, feeling comes up, story comes up, and we could begin to just work through it. But before I give you this one thing, I'm going to walk you through one simple step. And I heard this two years ago, and the mistake I made then was I didn't understand what it meant. And over the last six to eight months, I've really began to understand what this actually meant. And it's so small and it's so simple that you might actually miss this. It, yet, if you do this, it will be one of the most impactful things you can do in your life. So tonight, as we shared, hey, what is the biggest thing that you've learned over the last four weeks? Uh, I actually get to coach my wife. And one of the things that she said was this, which is what I'm about to share with you, is to re just remind yourself of the present moment. Remind yourself of what day it is. Remind yourself of what year it is and remind yourself of what time it is. You see, this begins to bring you back into the present moment, the conscious mind, the place that we can be where we're actually present. No thoughts about the past, no stories about the past, no feelings about the future. We're just here in the present moment. And as my wife shared this with me, I thought, man, how powerful is this? How powerful is it that my wife actually listened to what I said? Not only that, but she's actually using this in her own life, in our marriage, in our kids. But it was one of the most powerful things. And if I would have kept that to myself and not shared it, she would have not been able to experience that. And I wanted to share that with you on this today. I'm going to say it one more time. It's about reminding yourself what year, what day, and what time it is. As I do this podcast, it is Monday, April 8th, 
6.02 p.m. And as I remind myself of that, I can come back into this present moment. I don't have to be anywhere. I don't have to do anything. I can just be in the present moment. And how peaceful is that? How peaceful is it for me and you just to be in the present moment? How different could your life be every single day if when you began to go back to the past, the past stories, the past feelings, the past thoughts, whether it's with your kids, employees, friends, family, that you could just remind yourself today what year it is, what month it is, what day it is, and what time it is, and bring yourself back into the present moment. So I appreciate all of you being on here today. I appreciate all of you listening. If you're looking to connect further with a group of like-minded people, join myself and so many others in the Habit-Based Lifestyle Secrets Group. This is where I'll be dropping daily habits to help you live to your full potential. Maybe you want to be one of our next case studies and begin living this habit-based lifestyle. This is where we take you on a transformation journey into the 30-day habit boot camp. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to contact me, jesse at habitbasedlifestyle.com. I would love to help you. You can also check out my website, habitbasedlifestyle.com. Until next episode, have a great day. The purpose of this show show. is to guide you to realign realign. with habits that get you to live the life life. you've always dreamed of. This this is the Habit-Based Lifestyle Podcast with Jesse.